One of the things that I love most about the meat department, honestly, is that we are so close to the food. Like, in prep foods, you do get to make things, and the deli, you get to slice things, but like in especially the raw proteins, you are literally taking something and shaping it with your hands. You're working with it and molding it into something perfect, and I love it. I think that's super important to have that connection with your customer and know that you entrusted someone with, with the most important and expensive part of your meal. My name is Brittany Moser and I'm a butcher at the Louisville Whole Foods Market. My name is Allie Wright and I'm a meat team leader for Whole Foods Market West Palm Beach. When I was growing up, it was lots of box dinners, spaghetti, previously frozen chicken, lasagnas that came out of boxes, and like it was a lot of quick fast and go because both of my parents worked and then there were four kids. So once I started learning a little bit about cooking when I was in high school, and I was like, oh, lasagna gets... <laughs> Lasagna gets made. <laughs> um, okay, cool. And like I learned how to make pancakes that didn't come out of a box. And I was like, this is crazy. It takes longer, but I preferred it. Being connected, having a hands-on experience with, with my food and like an intimate knowledge of it, that's been my thing ever since. I actually started shopping at Whole Foods before I applied. Um, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's and just wanted to do a little bit better for my health. I really loved the vibe, I loved the team members, loved the full service, and I just kind of knew that that's where I was meant to be. I wanted to work um, in meat department specifically because I had um, a skill set before with another company. Um, I went through an apprenticeship there, but I cut for trays and not full service, never worked for full service before. Whole Foods is completely different from my last apprenticeship that I went through. They actually had books and classes and hands-on training. Um, my previous uh, company I worked with, it was just you and your mentor. And in this setting with Whole Foods, it's more like a team effort and everybody kind of coaches you and you take an account of what you learn in the books and you, you it's all hands-on learning and shop learning. So the craftsmanship was obviously a lot more um, dialed in than in my last company. I really love cutting. As soon as I realized it was a possibility, I didn't even know it was something that I thought was interesting until like I realized, oh, I can learn how to do that. And then like I was watching YouTube videos and I was buying books. <laughs> Um, I was asking guys, even when I wasn't scheduled in the meat department, I would like peek over, see them cutting something, be like, hey guys, what you doing? <laughs> you know, I've always liked working with my hands, like being able to kind of create things and having a knife in my hand and taking something like so big and like being able to break it down and like trim it up and make it look really, really gorgeous. For me, that's the best part. My apprenticeship was the best part of my career um, leading up to where I am now. Uh, I was really able to hone in on my craft and find that confidence. Whereas like as an apprentice, it's super overwhelming trying to find like your part on a team. And it's super overwhelming because you just feel like there's so much that you don't know. Uh, but really once you get through the program and get through the books, it kind of like simplifies itself. and. Having that time to be coached and to learn um, really is important for an apprentice, uh, just to kind of gain that confidence that you can do, you can learn, you can screw up, and you can learn from your mistakes. We have a, a gentleman who's like 73 and has been doing this for most of his life, but I'm trying to get on that level. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not comparable yet, but I'm trying to learn from him and learn from everybody that I feel is, is, has their strengths and get their strengths and add it to mine. Like, yeah, this is, this is where I wanna be. 
cutting meat is very physically demanding. Um, when we get our trucks in, we have to th throw huge box meats that could, you know, weigh 60, 70 pounds. And um, as a woman in this industry, and maybe also a stubborn one who doesn't want help, uh, I, I made it a point that I didn't need help from anyone. So going to the gym um, and really strength training just to make sure that I was having good form and I wasn't going to get hurt and I'm performing my day-to-day -day job. Um, I put myself through um, a couple strength training phases that I know that would help me perform, whether it's like um, pushing weights over my head or pulling them off the floor, um, training my back, my legs, um, make sure I have strong shoulders. What I think meat cutters in general need the most um, is just belief in themselves and believing that you can screw up and you can make mistakes, um, but you can come back from that. I think it's really important for all of us to know that we can make mistakes um, and just have confidence and know that if you believe in yourself, um, you can do it. <laughs> my first, probably like <laughs> half of my career was tough. Um, I mean, I think just like anybody, butchers are just like anyone, like there's stress at work. Um, but like, I, I know at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just gonna go right back to it and pick up where I left off. So I try my best to just to come home and just like continue on with my life, uh, feeding my cats or uh, going to the gym, coming home, cooking and meal prepping. If I really need to disconnect and I'm feeling it in, in my head, uh, a good video game with an awesome storyline will help me with that. So yeah, after work, I'll cook dinner, uh, maybe play some video games, and I love to paint. I got into painting after the pandemic started. Um, uh, there is a younger gentleman that I work with who is a local artist here in Louisville. And he was like, yeah, I really like the paint to just like, you know, take my mind off of stuff. And I was like, try that. And it just kind of stuck. I love the meat department. I love um, I'm coaching my team members and growing them and teaching them what I know. Um, but then I found out um, just recently that I just love helping people in general, whether it's store level, regionally, as long as I'm in the stores helping and growing the team members that I work with, um, that's just something I'm really passionate about. I used to think I was just gonna stay in meat, but now I just think the skies are the limits. Ideally, I would just cut for the rest of my life, but also like I do have aspirations to, to move up in the company. I wanna be a team leader of the meat department one day, and I wanna, work with the people that I, I have with me right now. Uh, I admire them a lot and I want to learn as much from them as I can. I don't know if you guys know this, but we're, we have an all-star team. <laughs> Thanks to my team leader and his excellent leadership and I want to keep this an all-star team. And I want to be on his level.